Okay. Uh, continuing with operations. Uh, well, how about continuing operations? Uh, hearkening back to business continuity. How do we uh, build resilience into our enterprise? Um, how do we ensure that we are going to be able to continue operations? Um, so, uh, making sure that we are available. Uh, concentrating on the availability part of the triad. Um, so, uh, ensuring the quality of service as well. Um, uh, we concentrate on, on being able to provide the service and add a decent quality. Um, depends on, you know, are, are we a service organization? Uh, we need to be able to present that. We can present that as a uh, benefit of doing business with us. That uh, we can continue operations, and not just continue operations, but we can continue operations to provide the service that we provide at the same level of quality. Uh, by the same token, if we are dependent upon other uh, service providers for utilities, for, uh, well, various other types of services, um, ensuring that the uh, services that we get are going to continue at the appropriate level of service. Uh, you know, a service level agreements are supposed to deal with that, but, um, you know, do we have anything that says, okay, if you guys don't provide this service at the agreed upon level, um, you know, uh, you're, you're paying for it. You're, you are compensating us for the fact that you um, have failed to provide the appropriate level of service. Uh, so... Um, now, fault tolerance. Uh, we talk about fault tolerance. Um, fault tolerant computing. So, um, you know, ensuring that we can tolerate problems. Um, having redundancy. Building redundancy in. Uh, efficiency is all very well when you are trying to shave Marvin margins and capitalism, um, is all about that, making, uh, you know, the, the most money out of the least resources. Um, yes, all well and good. But when you shave the margins too thin, as we have just recently found out with the pandemic, um, you are not fault tolerant. You are not resilient. Um, efficient systems are brittle. And when something goes wrong, everything goes wrong. So, um, ensure that you uh, plan for that balance. Yes, uh, management, senior management, is going to want it to be as efficient as possible. But make sure that you remind them, if we don't build in some margin, uh, then, you know, when something goes wrong, we may lose the enterprise. The whole thing. So, uh, be aware of that. Um, plan for that. Well, you know, that's, that's what we're talking about, right? Business continuity planning. Um, so, uh, have uh, mirroring. Or, uh, well, sort of redundance um, in terms of our... Uh, network, our data network, our voice networks. Um, uh, but, you know, have uh, mirroring is the uh, better, safer option from the perspective of resilience. Um, 
that we have uh, different uh, network connections with different providers over different cables, as you know, we talked about it in telecommunications. Um, having hot spares, and in this case, hot spares means they're they're connected, they're running, uh, they're ready to go. We are not using them, or you know, perhaps we are. Um, sometimes you you operate with uh, hot spares, and and sometimes one server is the spare. And sometimes a different server is the spare. If we have multiple servers, uh, uh, sometimes we just operate with um, extra capacity on uh, all of the servers. So that at need, when one or two fail, uh, that, you know, rolling over to the other working servers uh, that have capacity uh, can uh, deal with that. So we don't actually have to have designated hot spares. But, you know, have the, have the concept there. Um, and then we get into, well, um, in terms of spares, uh, whether hot or not, um, the redundancy, the extra capacity in systems, how do we achieve this? And particularly with different definitions of distributed computing. Uh, do we have uh, just simply, you know, extra bits and pieces which may need to be brought online? Do we have um, different pieces that are performing certain operations but could take over other operations if necessary? Or do we have uh, not just redundant servers but full clustering? Um, and I believe I mentioned the you know, the old back system that really did have uh, full clustering that uh, in one company I'd sign on in the morning and I, I would get an indication as to which um, machine I was actually signed on to, but I, I didn't specify that. It just, um, it was, you know, fully clustered, fully integrated. And so when I signed on, it might be a different machine that I never heard of, but my files were available. My uh, account was available. Um, everything that I needed was, in fact, available. And so that's, uh, you know, definitely something that we hold as valuable and a good thing. Um, okay. Um, in, in regard to uh, redundancy backup, um, resilience, um, we've got RAID. Uh, redundant array of independent disks or uh, sometimes redundant array of inexpensive disks um, in that we are building a cluster out of um, just simple uh, disks. And we can do this with software, we can do this with hardware, we can, you know, there's a variety of ways that we can do it. These days, if anybody is using RAID, they're probably buying it in hardware. Um, anyways, um, RAID level zero um, has striping over multiple disks, and that's just for speed. That doesn't really affect your resilience. Um, RAID level 1 is mirroring, so that gives you redundancy. Yes, that has to do with resilience, but it's expensive. Um, so then we go into um, other areas, uh, level 2, that gets into error correcting code like hamming. Um, 3 is just simple parity, uh, but still sort of error detection at the very least. Um, 
And then uh, four, we've got striping and parity. So we've got the uh, speed and uh, some error detection. Um, and four has a dedicated parity disc. Uh, five stripes and distributes the parity, so you don't need a, a dedicated separate parity disc. Uh, six is double parity. It's not really uh, that much important, depending on how uh, error riddled your discs are. And then we get uh, level 10 or one and zero. And, and basically it's not level 10, it's one zero or zero one. Um, and so that is mirroring with striping or striping with mirroring. It's a combination of one and zero. And off we go.